John here, and this is uh, my road bike that I just bought from Bike Nashburg, and uh, I'm going to film the unboxing of it. Just arrived here the other day, it took only a week to get here, so it's happy with that, and I'm um, looking forward to getting into it and seeing what I got. Looks like it is all packaged nicely together, no damage. Hopefully it stays that way. One thing that I was amazed at when I came uh, was uh, just how light the box was, so I'm pretty excited to cut everything away and see how much weight is left with the bike itself. Looks pretty slick. So on hindsight here, I kind of wish I had somewhere to set this down. That works. All right, looks good. So I'm gonna cut some stuff up here and then uh, bring the camera over and show you the close up. The model that had a 105 rear derailleur, but then a uh, Tiagra components everywhere else. So I'll be giving up a little bit in weight for a pretty good deal, I think, as far as the cost goes. It's tough to get a uh, full carbon road bike for under two grand, let alone one grand, which is quite nice for selling it for. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the quality. One thing I haven't looked for is the instructions. Probably would be a good idea. I think this stage is all pretty straightforward though. Get things exposed and see what the next step is. And don't cut anything that I shouldn't cut. It looks like from this box that the whole package came from Taiwan and that at Bike Nashbar itself, they, I doubt even open the box up. So it's got a stealth black finish to it with the no paint on it from uh, any company. Okay. 
Everything's been pretty straightforward except getting the back wheel off here. Just not quite sure how I'm supposed to do that yet. Yeah, don't think it's too complicated, but I don't want to make things worse. It's nice and easy. Probably the only thing I need to be careful of now is the, uh, the handlebars to not put stress on the uh, the cables. So let me clear the garbage out and I'll come over and grab the camera and uh, we'll have a nice close look at it. So here it is. Making lots of garbage. Overall, there's the finish if you can make it out. I was expecting it to be a little bit more uh, have a more carbon look to it but it's got a really stealth just matte black finish to it. It's got the uh, 105 rear derailleur, T8 with components everywhere else which for a thousand dollars I'm not arguing about. Yeah looks good. Matte black with uh, some red accents. FSA crank. Okay, one interesting thing here is it shows the. Uh, let me get this around the right way up. So it's a Nash bar box, but there's the uh, the company that clearly uh, manufactured this. So I'll uh, do some research on this company and find out exactly who they are, and uh, just for interest's sake. But overall, I'm pretty pretty happy with this, so I'm going to uh, stop this video, the unboxing, and uh, make another one about uh, how to assemble it out of the box.